Welcome, to View Chem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Boiler Troubles Water for steam making Water is required, for the generation of steam, for various industries, for different purposes. Steam is useful for Generation of electricity Sterilization Mechanical efforts Energy storage, and Treatment of concrete The water for steam generation Should not have any suspended, or, oily impurities Should not have any dissolved organic, or, inorganic compounds Should not have excess dissolved oxygen, and, carbon dioxide should not have any color, odor, and, the pH value should be nearer to 7. Should not have hardness more than 0.2 parts per million. Should have the caustic alkalinity in a range of 0.15 to 0.45 parts per million. If the water used for steam making does not satisfy the requirements just mentioned, then, there will be possibilities of development of boiler troubles. There are many types of boiler troubles. These are. Carry over The process of carrying of water, by steam, along with the impurities, is called carryover. This phenomenon may be due to, priming, and, or, foaming. Priming When the boiler is fed with hard water. and heated to boil. Steam is produced. As the hard water is used to produce steam, the steam may come out with water droplets. The production of wet steam is called priming. Foaming When the boiler is fed with hard water containing oily impurities. And heated to boil. Along with steam, persistent foam is produced on the surface of the water. The production of persistent foam on the surface of the water is called as foaming. The reasons for the priming are Water containing dissolved salts Presence of suspended impurities in water Use of hard water Higher water levels in the boiler Sudden rise in temperature Repeated temperature fluctuations Improper design of boiler, and High steam velocity Priming can be avoided by Using soft water Using the water free from, dissolved, or, suspended impurities Using a boiler of proper design Avoiding sudden rise in temperature Avoiding higher levels of water in the boiler Maintaining normal steam velocities Avoiding temperature fluctuations, and Use of mechanical purifiers Presence of oily, or, soapy impurities, difference in the concentration of solute, or, suspended particles, between the surface of the water, and, the water at inner region, are the common reasons for foaming. The following measure should be taken to avoid foaming. Use of calculated quantities of anti-foaming agent like castor oil. Prior to the entry of water into the boiler, coagulants like sodium aluminate, should be added to sediment the suspended oily impurities. Replacing the concentrated boiler water by fresh water. Drawbacks of priming and foaming. We cannot judge the level of water in the boiler. Excessive heating requires consumption of more fuel. Loss of heat results in the decrease in the steam pressure. The overall performance of the boiler also decreases. Wet steam causes the corrosion of the machinery, like the blades of turbine. Scale and sludge When boiler is fed with hard water. And heated to boil. Steam is produced.
As the water evaporates, the concentration of the dissolved salts increase beyond the saturation point. As a result, a hard and thick precipitate is formed on the inner walls of the boiler, and is called a scale. Sometimes, in the colder regions of the boiler, a loose slimy precipitate may be formed in the boiler feed water. This is called sludge. Disadvantages of sludge As sludge is poor conductors of heat, more amount fuel is required to boil the water. This increases the cost due to the excess fuel, electricity, personnel, and time. Sludge can decrease the performance of the boilers. Due to the deposition at curvatures, sludges can choke the narrow pipes. Formation of sludge in the boilers can be prevented by using soft water, by blowdown operation, frequent removal of the concentrated water, and properly designed boiler. The following are the disadvantages of the scales. Like sludge, scales are also poor conductors of heat. So, more amount of fuel is required to boil the water. This increases the cost due to the excess fuel, electricity, personnel, and time. As the consequence of prolonged heating, the efficiency of the boiler decreases, and the steam is produced at a slow rate. Boiler safety is decreased due to the presence of scales. In high pressure boilers, due to the choking of the narrow areas in the boiler, due to the scale formation, there is a possibility of explosion of the boiler due to the development of high pressure. Formation of scales can be avoided by using soft water. Caustic embrittlement When the boiler is fed with water containing dissolved sodium carbonate, and heated to boil, steam is produced. After the completion of the work, fire is extinguished. Hot water is drained off. But, when we observe the boiler wall, we can see tiny cavities. Into these cavities, hot water containing sodium carbonate clogs. Sodium carbonate converts to sodium hydroxide and reacts with boiler material forms Fe3O4. Sodium carbonate reacts with hot water to form sodium hydroxide. So produced sodium hydroxide reacts with boiler material to form sodium ferrite. Further, sodium ferrite reacts with water to form sodium hydroxide and ferrosopheric oxide. It can be observed from the above reactions that Sodium hydroxide is regenerated and further attacks the boiler material. As time proceeds, the majority of the boiler material is attacked, converts to ferrosopheric oxide and thus becomes brittle. This phenomenon is called caustic embrittlement. Caustic embrittlement can be prevented by Use of soft water Use of sodium phosphate in the external treatment, instead of sodium carbonate Addition of compounds like, sodium sulfite Danin, and lignin, prevents the caustic embrittlement, due to blocking of the cracks, thereby preventing the infiltration of alkali. Thanks for watching. Please, like, subscribe and share.